Hi, I'm Gabriel and this is Learning English Path. And in this lesson, I'm going to teach you the difference between the future perfect simple and the future perfect continuous. Future perfect simple versus future perfect continuous. And we might even get into the difference between these tenses and the future simple as well. So let's start with the future perfect simple. This is used to talk about something that is predicted to be complete at a certain time in the future or the duration of the predicted existence of a state at a certain time in the future. For example, I will have eaten dinner by 8 p.m. tomorrow, right? So we're, instead of the word at, we're using by this uh, preposition of time, by, because we're saying by the time we get to 8 p.m. tomorrow, Dinner will be complete. Let's look at this timeline. So we have now, but we're talking about tomorrow. So tomorrow dinner comes before 8 p.m. And dinner will be finished by 8 p.m. tomorrow. That's why it is I will have eaten, not the continuous tense. If it's the future perfect continuous, then it uh, will still be going on. We'll look at that in a second. But the structure is subject plus will have plus past participle. Remember, past participles are words like eaten, been, done, right? Do, did, done. Uh, eat, ate, eaten, right? That's the past participle. And we may well use the, the adverb already. So I will have already eaten dinner by 8 p.m. tomorrow. That just really emphasizes the point that it will be done. It will have already happened by 8 p.m. tomorrow. You can also use this tense to talk about the duration of the predicted existence of a state at a certain time in the future. For example, I will have already been president for five years by 2025. So that means that when this year comes up, it will be my fifth or sixth year as president, right? I am anticipating that, I'm predicting that. Uh, we could also, if we want it to be in the negative, we would say, I won't yet have eaten dinner by 8 p.m. tomorrow. So I will not yet have. The word yet is the adverb we use in the negative instead of already. I won't yet have eaten dinner by 8 p.m. tomorrow. This is used to talk about something that is pre predicted to not yet be complete at a certain time in the future. And the structure is subject plus will not yet have plus past participle. And remember, we're using the future perfect rather than the future simple because we want to talk about the relationship between two events in the future. All right, so let's go to future perfect continuous. This is used to talk about the duration of something that is predicted to be happening at a certain time in the future. For example, I will have already been eating dinner for 30 minutes by 8 p.m. tomorrow, right? So it's two different points in time. It's the beginning of eating dinner and it is 8 p.m. tomorrow. So, and we're talking about the duration of time between those points. So that's why we need the future perfect continuous. If you don't give the duration, then it is much more common to use the future continuous rather than the future perfect con continuous. You would just say, I will be eating dinner at 
8 p.m. tomorrow. But only if you want to give the duration would you use the future perfect continuous. So if you include that information, here's the timeline. I will have already been eating dinner for 30 minutes by 8 p.m. tomorrow. So you see there's now, and then we've got the two points in time, right? Not just one, we've got the two points in time, but they're connected through duration this time. So that's the difference between the future perfect simple and the future perfect continuous. We're talking about duration, not just two events and not just one continuous event where we want to make a connection between when something began and at a certain time during that time. And now you could also use it to talk about a habit or common occurrence predicted to exist in the future. So I will have been exercising every day by next Christmas. So that's a habit that I will uh, have by that time. And here's the structure. So subject plus will have been plus continuous verb. If we want it in the negative, we could say, I won't have been exercising by spring. This is used to talk about a habit or common occurrence not predicted to exist in the future. And the structure there, of course, is subject plus won't have been plus continuous verb. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you click that bell so that you know when I publish a new free lesson here on YouTube. And if you want to learn English with songs, then don't forget to click the link in the description to get my free PDF guide to 101 songs to learn English. I have hundreds of exercises for you to study English, English grammar, English vocabulary, English idioms, practice your English listening, and even your speaking while listening to the very best songs to study English with. All right, and when you get it, then you also get my weekly email with five words of the week where I teach you another five words every single week so that you continue to take your English language learning to that next level. All right, my friend, I'm Gabriel Wallace. Keep learning and keep going.